Hey Roamers, today we're going to be talking to Dave Whitlock of Lion Energy to find out what's the latest and greatest in renewable energy. Also, Aaron Jones, the mobile RV tech, and I are going to be doing a battery upgrade on our cousin's RV. We're going to get rid of those lead acid batteries and replace them with four of the Lion Energy UT1300 lithium batteries. I'm Jamie. I'm Linda. And this is Roaming with Rosie. Hey Roamers, Jamie back at you. We're here today with Lion Energy and Dave Whitlock to talk about what's the latest and greatest in renewable energy. Jamie, great. Linda, great to be with you. Thank you. We actually have a lot of things, so I'd love to show them to you. Right, okay. Very good. So the first thing, normally we have our LT. We still have those available, but we've now moved to the Summit. And the Summit now is also a 500 watt output, same thing but we're moving from 450 watt hours to now 665 watt hours. So a little more power is what we wanted to do and that's that whole box. That's the new portable power unit that's available. Next thing we have is we have the whole Savannah series. Now we have the whole kit, a solar charge controller, a lithium charger that you can charge from, and now we have a 2000 watt inverter as well. So now we have each of those devices available for you. And what's really cool is our regular UT1300 battery is now has Bluetooth with it. Right. So with that Bluetooth, Jamie, now you just simply have a Lion Energy app. There's a Lion Energy app. When you click on that Lion Energy app, you then will see the voltage of what that battery is doing. You'll then see the temperature that's right. in that battery. Right. You'll then see your output. We're certainly not drawing anything out of there there. And then you'll see the state of charge. Okay. So you can still see it on top, but now on your app, you don't have to go underneath all your compartments. So now you've got Bluetooth capability okay. with that. How does that work? Say you had six of these, like I have in my rig right now. How does that work on the app saying you have multiple batteries? Does it kind of put it all together or how does that great question it's just gonna read the voltage on one battery but because all six of your batteries are in parallel right and have similar voltage you're essentially reading the voltage across all six batteries okay got so it. you could add just one if you already bought two batteries you already bought four batteries buy one more now with a Bluetooth and you'll be able to read the voltage across all of them oh okay yeah so. that's great that's good to know yeah very good so this alleviates having to have a battery monitor now you don't have to have a battery monitor anymore that is so correct you don't have to put in a shunt you don't have to do any of that stuff you got it all right here in the battery exactly right okay that's fantastic. exactly right we actually have a couple more things as well along with our 100 watt solar panels now we have a 50 watt collapsible solar panel oh great and so that just folds down uh, and that will charge the new summit that will charge uh, the LT that we do have and then along with that we also have the brand new Trek. So we used to have what's called the Cub Go. Right. This is now the Trek. And so now you have 110 power, charge your phones. That can be charged with that 100 watt panel or the collapsible 50 watt panel oh, on okay. there. Okay, all right. And what this is, is this is 99.9 .9 amp hours. You can have 100 amp hours on a plane. So this is as large as you can go, but now you can take lithium on the plane and have power anywhere. Oh, gotcha, cool. Yeah, because last year we bought the Cub JC. JC. Right. So this is our Lion Energy jumper compressor, our Lion JC. This is basically your roadside emergency kit in one container. If you notice, it comes with a nice non-woven case, zips open. Inside on the top, you're going to have your jumper cables, your power supply cords. Then on the bottom half, you're going to have the jumper itself. This is a 480 um, amp cold cranking amp jumper which will jump just about any size gas engine it will not do the large diesel trucks uh, that have two batteries uh, because you'll need one of these on each battery uh, but it also works as a power supply so in addition to doing jump starting up to 20 plus times on one charge you can also pull the power off of it to charge your cell phones you know iPads you know any any of that type of uh, small device that runs off of 
a USB-A. It also comes with a small air compressor. Now this is meant to be an emergency roadside air compressor. You know, your little TPS monitor goes off while you're driving down the road towing your trailer saying one of your tires is five pounds low. This you can dial in the correct uh, PSI, plug it into the power unit, and it can be your little emergency roadside tire fill up that'll get you somewhere else to get it taken care of completely. Cool. And so you recharge it how? It recharges from either a, uh, an AC plug from the wall or it comes with the cigarette lighter adapter where you can charge it right from your vehicle while you're driving. So a lot of vehicles these days have a have a cigarette lighter either in the trunk or in the glove box. You can just keep that charged at all times in your vehicle. That, where we're in the RV, we use it. It's really cool because it has a setup where you can jump start your truck or car or whatever it may be. But then you can also charge your, your cell phones and things of that nature so you're not basically using your other your coach power so you're not having to use any of this you can charge that up and utilize that while you're in bed or what have you so we yeah. really we, we we've been using that all year so you're awesome yeah. i've loved your videos i've looked at your videos i hope lots of people are doing that what you guys are doing is cool before i came down to quartzite i watched yours and go that's right that's right that's right so i love your videos <laughs> love what you're doing appreciate all you that you do right and then you also had that story you were telling about the gentleman with the durability of the batteries you were talking about, we dropped it from a ladder and then... Oh, yeah. So he took our battery up the ladder and dropped it on some landscape blocks. Yeah. And it broke the landscape box, not our, not our batteries. But what he also is doing in that video is he shoots our battery with a 12 gauge shotgun. Yeah. And then with a nine millimeter shot it twice on this side, twice on this side, twice on this side. Not that we recommend that you shoot our batteries, but what he's actually doing is he's showing the safety of lithium iron phosphate. Right. So there's really the three types of lithium. Polymer, which is what your phone and, and laptops use. Right. If oxygen punctures that lithium, it's a, it's a catastrophic failure. It's a flame. Right. Tesla also uses NMC. If oxygen hits that, it's a flame. If oxygen hits lithium iron phosphate, it's not a catastrophic failure. It's not a, it's a venting. So that's why we use lithium iron phosphate. It's the, it's the heaviest lithium. Wait, it's only 23 pounds, but it's the safest lithium. Right. Yeah. Also, I can give you an update on ABF. Okay. So last month, uh, we announced, or yeah, officially American Battery Factory. So uh, our sister company is going to be making lithium batteries here in the United States. So in less than a year, we'll now be manufacturing lithium from start to finish in our products, American made. And you are the only guys doing that, correct? That is correct. So yep. Lion Energy is gonna be the only company manufacturing lithium batteries here in the United States. All the other companies theoretically get all the product from China, bring it over here, and then assemble it here. That is correct. Right, and okay. then yeah. I talked, so. I believe it was Brian last year. Yes. Um, they not only have stuff for your RVs and if you're camping or what have you, but they also have the home system. The sanctuary you, system. Yeah, you may want to talk about that a little bit. Yeah, more. so now people that have a cabin that's off grid or they've had solar installed right on their homes. Right. Oftentimes when we think solar's installed on the home, when the power's out, we're going to have power. No, you're, the solar panels are just net metering, just going back into the, the, the grid. power company and the right. grid and you're getting a credit. Right. But to store that power, you can now use our sanctuary system, and that allows you to store the power so when the power is out, you can now run off that power. In California, they charge more for power from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Often they'll charge our system and run off our system from 4 to 6 when power is double the expense right. and save money. So that's theoretically the same as this right here. Right, exactly. Right? You're basically, it's a lot larger of a unit because I saw it, but you're basically charging that up from your solar panels and then when you choose, you can just go off of that without having to use any of the other stuff. Exactly right. Where this is, this is a 500 watt inverter. Right. That's an 8,000 watt inverter. Right. Where this has uh, watt hours of 665 watt hours. That is a 13.5 kilowatt hour. So it's essentially 10 of our batteries all in one. Great. So lots of power, just diversifying, and we appreciate you and all our customers just helping grow and trying to strengthen and support right. you. Okay. Well, great. Um, thanks for all the update. Glad Jamie. we got to meet you. This is like a yearly thing now. Yeah, come on. Let's... Um, so really appreciate getting to meet with you again and getting to know everything that's happening, all the all the new things that are happening with Lion Energy. Very good. Thanks, Jamie. Thanks a for a little bit of a play. So what did you end up buying? Uh, uh, uh,
We ended up buying uh, four 12 volt batteries and also this undropped Lion Energy battery charger. He's saying that because I dropped the other one. <laughs> okay, so. Six Lion Energy batteries. Four for them, two more for us. Okay, are right, you gonna screw these and, and do them? Yeah, I'm gonna put the, yeah, I'll put one on the bottom and then I'll stack them and put the other one up here. Okay. okay. All right, we can go ahead and set those back in there now. Uh, what we're doing is we're upgrading Greg's uh, RV here with lithium batteries. Um, so what we've done, we've done taken out all of the lead acid batteries which are in here, and we want to protect the uh, the lithium batteries. So we're putting them in a one of his storage bins because it's insulated and all that. So that's going to protect the batteries in cold weather and also in hot weather. So we're putting the four batteries in here. We're going to put a Lynx distributor over here, and we're going to run our lines through here and connect to the batteries. So what we're doing now is we're just getting, a, we've already hooked up, we've already made up all the wires, the battery cables. So we're going to get these all wired up, then we'll mount the Lynx distributor and then run everything uh, to the batteries and then he should be good to go. We're going to alleviate this because he's open to the elements here. So it kind of made sense just to put the batteries in this storage compartment. And the other thing that's cool about when you buy Line Energy batteries, they come packed with these foam, uh, inserts to kind of keep the battery in the box nice and steady well when i did my rv i actually used those to sit the batteries in there so they didn't move all around so we're just kind of incorporating that same idea with this install so what we did is we installed the Lynx distributor we hooked up all our lines here and they're all fused and then we have our main lines going to the batteries here and here uh, we drilled holes right here into the next bay so we'll show you what we got over here and then we wired up all of our, you can see these are the two lines coming from the Lynx distributor. And then we got all of our lines for our batteries. So this part of it's done. The next thing we're gonna do after this, we're gonna install uh, a lithium battery charger. It's actually on the opposite side of the coach. That way we can charge these to their full capacity. The other uh, charger will only take them about 80%. So we, we're gonna replace that as well. So here's the uh, charger that came with the coach. Like I said, this will only, this worked for uh, your lead acid batteries, but we're going to change this out. We're going to change it out to that lithium uh, battery charger. So we're going to pull this out, install the new one, and then that actually was manufactured. The new one's actually manufactured by, by Lion Energy. So everything's going to be really nice. Lion Energy batteries, Lion Energy charger. We're having fun. So this is Jamie working on the charger. Excuse me. Aaron's stepping in to help, and they're removing the old one, and they're going to install the one that matches the Lion Energy one. have to plug in again. So what do you think? Your first trip in port site. I had a wonderful guide <laughs> here. She was awesome. Great family to be with. So we brought them out here in the dirt, in the wind. The kitty litter. The kitty litter in the wind, but we got we got rewarded with the weather today. It was beautiful. So and yesterday and we had a great time. Yeah, you were gonna leave yesterday, but they got batteries. That's right, got batteries and we stayed an extra two days. Now lithium, they got lithium, they can run their batteries all the way down to zero almost. Absolutely. Right? And so. we have double the battery life. So we're really excited and can't and that, wait to do this again. Yeah. Hey Roamers, make sure to use our special link down in the description to save 15% on all of your Lion Energy purchases.
Thank you for watching this episode of Roaming with Rosie. If you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you'd share it with your friends and family. And if you're not yet a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button and make sure to ring that bell. That way you'll be notified each time we upload a new video and make sure to leave a comment. That way you could be part of the conversation. Until next time, we'll see ya. Thank you.